I've come to an outcrop in northern Italy, made of rock that formed at the same time as those ancient eruptions. It's a fossilised crime scene with a chilling tale to tell. Look at this thin black seam that runs all the way down here. Looks like coal to me, which would indicate that at one point it was full of plant life, probably full of lots of other life too. Coal is little more than ancient organic matter that's been subjected to extreme temperatures and pressures over millions of years. So where we find coal today, we know there was once life. But the rocks above it here tell an altogether different story. They're grey, dull, look a bit boring, bit of a geological mush, but that's the point. Because aside from a few fossil microorganisms, scientists have found very little evidence of life in these rocks. So what they are telling us is that 252 million years ago, the landscape here was almost devoid of life. In a geological blink of an eye, almost all life here vanished. Can't help but feel a certain sense of sadness. Holding this makes it so tangible. This was death on an unimaginable scale. But there's no evidence of lava here at all. When these rocks were laid down in this part of Italy, they were thousands of miles away from the eruptions in the north, certainly too far away for any direct impacts. What's interesting is that geologists have found this line of death all over the planet. China, Australia, South Africa, and no matter how far away from the lava fields, there's a deathly silence in the fossil record. The question is, what could have killed this many creatures? What could have wiped out almost all life on Earth? <laughs> 